Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It's Rare Whiskey Friday on the Whiskey Vault. Yeah, it's a Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through and sample multiple whiskeys. Don't distract me. Don't distract I'm, me. I'm doing now, it. Now, you're distracting me. <laughs> you're distracting me. Come on. What's Rare Whiskey Friday, Rex? Oh. Give him the spiel. You got, you, you're really going to soft shoe? Yeah. You're going to soft shoe over here? Okay. So, by Rare Whiskey, <laughs> we mean whiskeys that uh, aren't necessarily big brands, occasionally they are, but more often than not, these are the smaller craft distilleries without a tremendous amount of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to live in a location where you can get your hands on one of these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. Thank you to all the magnificent bastards who sent the whiskey. Uh, you did it! I'm so proud of you. <laughs> all right, what do we got? Let's all right, our on. first one of the day is Riverboat Rye right, Whiskey. Right, again, not in front of the lens. Our first one of the day is Riverboat Rye Whiskey from, well, first. From yeah. Mariah Meredith. Ryan Meredith, you make this bastard. Okay, so this one is essentially, as far as I can figure, yeah, uh, MGP yeah. bottled in Tennessee. MGP bottled in Tennessee. So MGP's out of Indiana. Yeah. And we've had MGP. Was this the rye you said? Yeah, it's rye. The Riverboat Rye. Right now, this is uh, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out who is actually making it. Forty-five percent. They say it's a distillery in Cumberland, Tennessee. Forty-five percent, uh, ninety proof. But there's not. Uh, Maybe in bottling it. Yeah, I mean not Cumberland, like Columbia, Tennessee, but they're bottling it. Yeah. I and there's not really. You don't know if they're doing anything like aging I it. I don't or... know what else is happening. Okay. So there's a chance this is just MGP high rye. Well, we could sample something else and compare. We could sample some MGP rye. Yeah. We could do that. Let's totally do that after but we taste this. See, we're getting it up to less four. Than we one, only have three. Got to get it up to four. This, is, this is less than one year old, though, right? What? Yeah, or oh. it, um, it says aged, or I should say at least, at least one year. It could be one year old whiskey. Okay. So what you're getting to taste is what MGP rye, which is in so many brands, Yeah. it tastes like when it's a baby. It's a really, I wouldn't have guessed a year. Um, I would say like two or three maybe on the nose. It's a really nice... Uh, Oh, taste Rice it. spice on the nose. No, no. It's punching above its weight for a one-year-old whiskey. Yeah, on the nose. But it's it, still... You just tasted it and you said a thing. What, what's going on? It's still thin, bright, and young. Let's, uh... That is a little new making. It's like... It feels like that transition point between new make turning into recognizable developed whiskey flavors. Right. Here is another MGP rye. What is this? That's at least, I'd say, probably a mix between some slightly older whiskeys, but it's up to four years old. Okay. So we just stepped up a few years on yeah. this, basically the same whiskey. The ethanol is, buried is now. less present. It's more buried on this. The Redemption is what you pulled out? Yeah, I just pulled out the Redemption. Then you're starting to get some like uh, like a spicy vanilla creeping up through there. Yeah, on the nose, that's nicer. Oh, and some more oakiness. The oakiness shows up with a little bit of honey. Yeah, it's already yeah. significantly better. Yeah, that, that went over the edge past the new make um, window of time into actual developed whiskey flavors. The riverboat, yeah, it's, it's going in the right direction. It's just still a little bit too young to be, in and of itself, a nice rye. Now, Mar uh, Mariah and, or, uh, Maria and uh, Weddle you have mumbled, been specializing. You mumbled a lot. Every time, Maria. No. And Weddle, I've been specializing in bringing us uh, budget whiskey punching above his weight. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, you know, let's, I'm curious to see what it turns into, so but not really because I've had MGP rye and seen it developed. Over and over and yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one's a little different. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Okay. Uh, this is also Weddle. Thanks, Thanks Mitch. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserve. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved. Thanks, Mitch. You got me the whiskey I deserved, and you helped my entire family. <laughs> oh, I love that stinger. Okay, so this is Old Maysville Club. This is from the Old Pogue Distillery. Okay. And they're doing two. Cornerstone releases the uh, bourbon and the rye. Yeah, you know what I just got on that. Well, hang on because I'm pretty. I'm hoping that even in Kentucky, right. maybe are we not getting that craft green note? I'm getting granola, and I'm not really getting the craft green. That's not oh. jumping out. I'm getting granola and that hay, fresh cut hay. I was gonna say that's cut grass, man. That's the green note I'm no, talking about. Oh, that's sappy. You're talking about the no, sappy. No, no, no. That's cut grass. It's cut grass and granola. It's a good granola. 
That's a nice granola. It's like you got the honey granola. If that's what you're looking and for in a whiskey. The fresh cut to me, it's more of a hay than a grass. But so this is for the uh, plants in the ground getting cut. This is for the adventurer who's like, you know what? I don't really want whiskey. I want a granola bar, but I want to drink it. And there's a little cinnamon on that. Granola. And make it alcoholic. A little cinnamon on that granola. That's still granola. Yeah, no, you're like still the, square in the territory of a granola. I like the granolas. Bar. I like the granolas. No, it's an alcohol. It's to your alcoholic, point. very liquid. alcoholic. What's the proof yeah. on that, by the way? Because that that ethanol is pretty present. It's fifty percent, hundred proof. Honey, this is, honey, hay, granola, <clears throat> in that order. It tastes honey, a little granola. better than it smells. Yeah. But it's still... It's kind of young. For, this is a bottled and bond whiskey, right? What, this is age? four it, years old. No, it doesn't taste four. It does not. It tastes about two. two. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, flav the flavors, these are like classic flavors, right? Yeah, there's and, nothing and, in there that's like yanking you out of the territory of a good and rye. And I will say this. You're saying it's a fresh cut grass. I'm saying yeah. it's a cut hay. We both agree on a granola. But these, that flavor set, that's a flavor set I think you and I have only ever really experienced in the smaller craft distilleries. Yes. The big releases, they don't ever have that note in there, which I guess they've figured out that most people aren't really gravitating towards that. But I, I don't know, I've had, uh, you say it's the green note, I've had a funkier, sappier, more raw leather green I note wonder a if lot more than this. I wonder whiskeys. if there's a trend in craft distilleries, yeah. some, yeah. to make wider cuts because it takes so much work to get enough spirits to put in a barrel. You think it's a white cut. I, and so you're pulling into the low or the highs where you're pulling in these lower, funky... You think the tails in American whiskey are going to have that... I don't know, because we've not distilled on our own yet. Well, Ryan bourbon. We, we have another bourbon. We've done a malt. But I'll tell you, our malt doesn't have any of those green notes, even at four months. Yeah, that was peated, though. But 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 if we go into the tails and that the peatiness, that's going to be the smoke. But you'll still, it's still possible you'll get... I don't know. It could be in the barrel... Damn it. Okay. I wish this was more clear. All right. Uh, What's next? Not, I actually prefer the riverboat, strangely enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though, because it was, you know, just a known quantity. MGP rye. Uh, we only have three today, so we're going to savor this one a long time. Um, unless it's real bad. You savor a long time? I savor a long time. <laughs> well, my, uh, my glass with the water, mm -hmm. that's an enchanting nose. It's the mix of these whiskeys. It is. It's a little soapy, though. It is, but... The, it the smells hay. like a perfumed hand soap. I think hay dust. No, you know what it smells like? You ever go into someone's bathroom where they've got a bowl of potpourri yeah. sitting next to the hand sink? Yeah. It's like that. There's where you went wrong, Daniel. Hmm. I never wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, should have known. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now finally we've got a gift. Wait, from, I'll make sure it lids on. Jason and Eric Sauter. Jason and Eric Sauter, you magnificent! Bastards! I love you have to, how you have to work around yes, the this whole, microphones. But it's just the tip. It's just the tip. <laughs> Keeping it classy. That's oh, how, man. That's how we roll. What? This is Detroit whiskey. This is... Okay, wait wait for it. I'm going to tell you. That there's two things... There's well, one thing I like about this, and there's one thing I'm not sure I'm going to like about this. Oh, okay. yeah. This is a uh, oat whiskey finished in cider barrels. Okay. I don't like cider. I don't like cider at all. Okay, so on the nose, I'm not getting cider. Okay, good. And I don't think I'm getting oats. But they what I am getting is the like dead wood that's fallen off of trees. It's been aging it's for specific. years, and it's damp. It's that musty, damp, musty dead, wood. dead damp wood. Like when wood. the bark starts just falling off of the right. core. So you, you ever go to like a like a like a um, a, a fence, a wood fence. Yeah. It's just ancient. Yep. And then it just, just coming the, apart. At the it's seams. coming apart, and then you get some rain on it. And if you ever kind of get close enough to smell, it's that really old wood that's gotten damp. And yeah, I will tell you what I do like about it is they named this release Hole and Oats. <laughs> yeah, it's real. There's no. Excuse. It's right there on the bottle. There's no excuse for that. <laughs> Finished oat whiskey. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? And it's sickly sweet too. Well, there, yeah, there's that that the sweetness is, is right alongside the ethanol. It's like a sweet alcohol with that ancient damp wood. Yeah. Uh, no, no, not for me. 
First, I'm going to go back. After Jason. I, after I acclimate, I'm going to go back. Well, you didn't even give me a chance see, to go back. I want to see what happens. You're pouring with, it out. I want to see what happens with the remains. Then I'm gonna you want to see what happens with an empty glass. Yes. <laughs> no, because the oils are going to be left alone on this the glass. Daniel, I don't like it. I want to see what happens when I never try that again. That's right. <laughs> I'll, I'll add some water to it to give it one more shot. Okay. No, you know what came out even stronger? Even more of that wood note you're talking about. On an empty glass. I'm getting a little bit more, there's a little bit of a cinnamon that starts to show up. A little bit after you acclimate to that wood. The thing is, it's the dryness of that taste. So incredibly dry, and I'm looking for, you know, it's a whiskey. I want to get some savory, some little, little, maybe a voluptuous sweetness in there. A little, I like the richness. This is dry, and the sweet is just, it, what little is there is a very simple white granulated sugar sweetness with this damp wood note. Yeah, man. Going back, very similar to the nose, to the first approach, to the second approach. <gasps> it's not switching it up. Hang on. But the finish eventually, eventually turns into a little bit of an apple cinnamon. But it takes a long, you get a long walk around the lake to get if to this. If you thing. add a little water to this. Right. And it's, by the way, ringing in at 43.1. Okay. So you bring it down to about 40 to 38. I will say this. These aren't my flavors. I'm not really digging these flavors. That is a lot of flavor coming out of 43. Right, though. Coming out of 43%, though. It is. Yeah. There's a chocolate aftertaste now with the water added. Oh. You see what I mean? Oh, it got there, yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, a, like eventually. A, like a dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitter. I think that dryness... Mm-hmm. Uh, showed up and turned into like a bitter dark chocolate. Yeah, at least like a 70% dark and then, chocolate. And then know? that fades away. I don't know. That's Still don't like it. Eh, yeah. <laughs> not, not for me. Yeah. Not for me. All right. Oh, well. we, you, you don't, it's, it's a rare Whiskey Friday. We don't have any comments. Enjoy the weekend, you magnificent bastards. Here's some fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.